Yo, what's up? How's it going, man? Pretty good. How you doing? Uh, I think Jeff is about making his way on too. Um, how you doing, man? Doing all right. Not bad. Nice. Um, all right, man. So what do you think? What do we got to do to test this mug? Um, I don't know if there's that much testing. I think just want to walk, go through what we need to do. Cause like, it's just going to, I guess if there's, um, do you know if, if everyone's going to be in their like own collab room and they'll be able to pop around or is there going to be like three collab rooms and multiple people working in each one? Um, so I, I believe I could look back at my meal, but I believe I intentionally worded it a little bit ambiguously to leave it flexible. Um, just that, uh, we, um, we, uh, for them to like have their heads as charged, have their accounts and everything set up. So, um, we could tell them what to do when we get in there. So, um, okay. yeah, it's still up to us. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I, I guess the only thing we'd need to test, which we don't really need to test is just like, you know, if I'm in my collab room and there's a few people working in there, I can just exit out and hop into another collab room. And my thing will just be constantly streaming from my headset. Um, so whatever collab room I'm in, I can show them. The only thing I, I, I think if there's if everyone has is working in their own room, it's just I'm not gonna have time to get around to everyone, which I guess is fine if it doesn't matter. Um, because I'm I'm I, the way I see it is everyone's kind of just gonna be you know they have their sketch or whatever, and then we're gonna mm -hmm. I might walk them through just setting up the room, which is not that much, just adding their image and the the last the shoe last. Uh huh. Then from there, everyone's just gonna be making wireframes and then going into modeling after that. Uh -huh. uh, and I, you know, I, I don't want people to like rush it or think they have to like be completely finished by the end of this. Cause it's not that much time to finish a model, especially your first time doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. So I think it might be good if there's like, how many people are there? How many people will be doing it? Do you think we've been, it's been what it's been, oh, I'm just plugging this in. It's been, um, on, uh, average i think the room has been 13 which means a 10 participants right so that'd be even if it's third so four per, so that would mean if it's third three of us if you me and jeff had a room open well no that would still be us in the room so we'd need we need a fourth huh, to fit everyone assuming everyone did it yeah yeah assuming everyone did it i guess yeah, because that's what I was saying. If there's only if there's like ten participants, then if we have three rooms, that's twelve people can do it, counting me though, and you and Jeff. Um, but you, I guess, um, yeah, I guess you guys want to be in the rooms too. At least. Well, I mean, you know, that'd be cool, but whatever we got to do, right? Yeah, yeah. If like maybe like one or one. Maybe we just see how many people are in it, and then we can. I guess we just need to have those rooms ready and have them give access to whoever needs access. Okay. So we, yeah. Do we? Should I? Should I start setting up one right now? Yeah, uh, you should like by default on your landing pad, your Gravity Sketch account. Uh -huh. You should have a collab room, and it'll be called like your name. Like, you know, it'll be called your name room or whatever or collab. Like mine's just called Joey's collab. Um okay. let me uh yeah because we're like when you're in your your files you can like set up a filter and then filter it by collab rooms and then it should give you yours. Um okay, so let's see I look in I go into my files. Oh and then uh sort by uh oh oh i got joey's collab in here um yeah. that's you invited me previously to yours right yeah um is there another one that's just like yours um let me see or maybe um actually if you go to the top right there's a little plus symbol and it says and then you can go make make new collab room got it okay got it um okay 
Um, all right. And so I, so I got one. Um, so I would, um, let's see, I, I can get, I would get the link for it right here. And then let me come back into Zoom. So I would, what's up, Jeff? Um, uh, I was on the other, on the other side. Did you, um, were you in here? Did you just hear what Joey was saying about creating the collab room? Uh, no. <laughs> So I think we're going to have, I think the best idea, instead of everyone having their own room, because that'll be a lot of rooms to bounce back and forth. Um, maybe we set up like three or four collab rooms and then I can just pop around to each one. Uh, the thing is there can only be, there can be three, like three people working in each one just so that there's a, another space for me to hop in that fourth spot. Um, so yeah, maybe we make, Three or four, I guess. Do you guys all have? Uh, I mean, we can also get them to just make an, their own collab room and then give you know whoever needs access access. So you can just type in whoever's email needs to access and then just add that to the list. Um, um, yo, it might be it might be useful to. I mean, it might just be a good tool to have in the training for them to uh, see how to make a collab room. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah you can do that. That's a good idea. Um, and, and, and Joey, that is so that like the general format would be we have we have the Zoom room open, your screen is sharing and you're kind of just go moving back and forth at will between them. People can maybe come in the Zoom room and raise their hand if they want to yeah. ask you to come into theirs. Um, and so it seems like maybe like a quick showing them how to make the collab room will probably be good to know, but if we, but functionally, we want to have probably as much control and simplicity over it as well too. Um, and, and and do you know what happens if if like if if like my room is full and somebody tries to get into it? Or just will it just tell them that it's full? Yeah, I think it'll just not let you. It won't let you get access to it. Yeah. Okay, so if we all put just put our links in there. Um, and people can try to get hop into whichever one they want. If it's full, they click the next one, right? Does that seem yeah, simple? Yeah, that would probably be good. Yeah. Is there, so a, we'll, is there still that function in Zoom where you can um, break out into breakout groups? Um, I think so. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do that. It's a good question. That, that, yo, I think it does. I, yeah. Because if you can do that, then we just have a sign. Like you know, what I'm saying instead of everyone trying to figure out whose collab room they should go into. If we do the breakout groups, put the link in there and then bow. That's you know, the only thing is trying to come back together as a big group might be difficult. Yo, so what if we just what if we just do the break make the breakout rooms, um uh get everybody into your into a collab, mm -hmm. right? And then and then end the breakout room. Oh yeah. Since everybody's in in, we just end it and then and then go back. Um okay. Uh I do I, I see breakout rooms here. Uh it also matters depends on how many people we have cuz if we've yeah. been having 10, 10 participants, right Jeff? No, we've been we've been having like 15 instead of at least 17. That was the number right with us. That's right. That's right. Um Shoot, so that's two yeah. people that we got. Yeah, that's that's five breakout rooms, right? Yeah. I mean, the thing is, we for in terms of like like collab rooms, we can you know we could have if everyone has a Gravity Sketch account, they can all have their own collab room. So yeah. if, if we need to get, you know, three of them to make an extra room for us, it'll work. Yeah. Um, but and the Smart. thing is, the only thing is like, <clears throat> if we, so we can have four people in the rooms at a time, but I only want three of three people in each room that are actually working on something. Cause I'll have to be that fourth spot to hop, be able to hop in and go to different rooms. Right. 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 And then we'd have to have them, if somebody yeah. makes one, they have to put that in the chat or invite you to it. If this, 
how do they uh, they would just have to um so if you just like like on in landing pad on the desktop where it has like the files and you see your collab room you can just like right click and click on copy link I th yeah or you can either cl copy the link and send it to people wow. or you can hit share and then add add in all the emails that you need to add and then it'll give them access to it. and then when you go on the headset that collab room will just be there and you'll be able to have access to it uh, like i can show you I'm just gonna start sharing my screen. Yeah, let's see. Um, where's my so like when I'm at the what's going on here? Um so when I like exit to the main menu, I can go to my landing pad collab and then you know, I see. I have other friends that have sh shared rooms with me, so I could go to their rooms that they've given me access to. So once you add their email to the list of access, like everyone should already have access to the Joey's collab room, so that should that'll just show up here anyway, and then they can just click on it and then go to my room, and then I can hop between those different rooms. Mm -hmm. um, and okay. Then start. Yeah, and then they can just start messing with it themselves and start. You know, I don't, again, like, I think I told you before Jeff got on here, I told Matt, like, I don't think anyone's going to, like, finish and have a com fully completed thing by the end of the session just because it's, like, you know, a lot to uh, to do the first time doing it if it's your first time modeling in VR. Yeah. But I think it's something they feel, you know, they'll finish up after the class and then, you know, make their own printed thing and and they can reference the other videos to see how to finish it up. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Makes, so, yeah. so all, all of that said, here's what's coming to my mind. Tell me if this sounds right to you guys. If, if it seems like the actual simplest thing might to, to do might be that everyone creates their own collab room. We don't worry about grouping people together. And they, you, so you show them how to create it and invite you. Then they've got the skill mm -hmm. of creating it and inviting people. So now they know how to collab. And then they go work on yeah. their own and you bounce back and forth between. We don't do the breakup. We just keep yeah. this yeah. Okay. Okay. And, okay. And they don't have to give, you know, the type of every email to give access to anyone. They can just give access to me. Mm -hmm. And then that's all. And then you guys too, if, if you guys want to be able to bounce around. Um, but yeah, they would just have to give open, create a collab room and then give access to me. And then I, and then we're good to go. Um, the only, the only thing is like, because when I get in the collab room, I'll have like audio so I can, you know, talk to just them. Um, but then I guess on the Zoom, it'll be anyone that can talk. I don't know how much conversation is going to be going on there, but um, yeah, I guess what I'm saying is I'll, like, I'll be able to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people, but I guess I don't know what's going The Zoom is just going to be for anyone that's outside uh -huh. that is just going to watch what I'm going to be doing the whole time. So it's yep. not as like a group interactive thing. It's more of like everyone's kind of working in their corner and I'm walking around to check in on them type of thing. Yep. To either help them get started or help them do whatever step they're at in the process. And I can do it real quick at the beginning. I'll try to get to as many people at the beginning to set up, to help set up the rooms, but. Okay. And they'll, and they'll also on the logistical, they'll have to mute their Zoom mic, right? Uh, for if, cause if you, yeah, are, if you are, you'll get an echo if you jump in their room, right? That's yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. And are you, are you cool with the, are you comfortable with the plan to, to explain it, Joey? If we're just, if we're passing it over to you. Do you need us to. Yeah, I can explain how to, I can show them how to make a collab room. Um, that should be pretty, pretty easy. And then once they have their collab rooms open. Um, maybe I'll show them how to just all together import like the shoe last yeah. and their image, their, you know, their sketch that they made. I'm assuming that I forget if I mentioned an email, but if for everyone to also like how I have this here, this um, uh, slide sketch is already in here. Like to, to, once you have your sketch done, drag it in here. So it's, you have access to it. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe I can show them how to do it too. Yeah. What's that, Jip? I was gonna say I would explain that to them so they they I'm sure they do that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. So, 
we'll come on we'll kind of we'll, we'll we'll pass it over to you and then um the uh well you'll start with getting everybody set up and basically like you'll kind of like stick in zoom until folks are are set up anybody anybody else need help everybody good and then you can start bouncing back and forth and then kind of like the rest of the majority of the rest of the show is just you checking people out and talking talking with them while they work right and then yeah. maybe come back together for showing final show and tell or anybody want them yeah okay all right yeah that's cool with me okay good job good job fellas yeah we got that plan intact with four minutes to go yeah nice so yeah. when, I, when i went in and tried to hit a collab room it just um it didn't to me it didn't make anything it, it just took the collab room part turned purple um maybe i'm doing it like on are you on this page that i'm on right now or can you see my screen? Yeah. So we need, we need to go to this and then create a new collab room. Uh, it's not letting me do it because I already have one and I can only make one. But one free collab. Um, but I don't know if you guys would need your own collab rooms. You can you can just be pouncing around to other people's too, and you can you know follow me into wherever I'm going if you want to do that, or you can go into um watch other people's and you know if I'm not if they need help or something or yeah yeah that's that. a good point. Yeah, I think that's what and how are we going to be on time on this one? Like, is it cool if we go? If we need to go a little bit over or whatever, is that fine? I, I, you know, I, I'm fine either way. I just don't know like what if people are gonna start jumping ship at, at an hour or not. Yeah, I need to I need to log off at uh, eleven because um, I have another meeting after. Mm -hmm. yeah, got a prep for, but uh, yeah. I got a buffer. I got I got a half an hour buffer um, okay. between so. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, if anything, like, like I said, it'll at least give them a really solid start on having it something, you know, they can put the final touches on at the end. I, I don't know how, that's why I try to say, keep the sketches, like the design simple. Cause like, you're not going to want to model some crazy, super fine detailed design. So hopefully everyone comes with like really basic, you know, slides that we can build quickly. Yeah. Okay. Um, should be good. Okay. Um, shall we, uh, one minute, shall we start letting them in? Sure. Okay. Do it. Yay. What's up you guys? What up, Brittany? up how are you we're out here we're out here well, basically <laughs> what uh is this the studio that you're in Brittany oh look, your case ready to go means business yeah we got our old oh shit we got our old like mural in there super fucking old what is That's it what's the um, so it used to be like uh, back in the like my clubhouse state, um, they made like a record label. It was it was like the first youth owned in like Colorado. So it, it's gone away now, but like the mural is still here. And then we have like our first like debut like album like hung up. So that was like Adrian's thing. So oh, that's tight. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna have to tell you what. Yeah, that that was a good talk with Adrian too, man. Uh, on that other one, yeah, I'll tell you about it later. It was good, to, good to see that guy. Yeah, he's doing his thing. Yeah, he's uh -huh. So I have no qualm. What's good, sir? Yep. yep. Had a busy day today. Yeah. Yeah, I might actually might have to step out early. I have a uh, Geek Squad coming to do 
some service. We got an open house today, and then Best Buy reps are showing up. So it's busy. It's busy, busy, busy. Okay. But I did I did give me a little, you know what I'm saying, a little slide situation. We're going to see what it's here for. We're going to see what it's here for, Joey. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we'll uh we'll keep the uh Joe Joey's about to give give like give actual the actual opportunity for everybody to be working in him checking it out and be a part of the show like that. Um but we'll keep we'll have the the, the regular Zoom open too. So if you gotta just stay on deck and watch it like a show instead of go in so you could be versatile. Um yeah, we'll have it have it like that. Um shoot, Joey, what you think? Uh time is crunching. Should we uh, what, you wanna give him one minute or um, if we're waiting on anyone, we can wait, but I can also get going whenever you guys are ready. So, okay. Um, yeah, we got, I don't know folks are probably still filing in and you're, you're going to explain, explain some crucial stuff right off the bat. <laughs> right. So maybe yeah. we'll give them, one, we'll give them one minute and then we'll, we'll get to rocking. Uh, I didn't even get to hold music. Yeah, the world, the it's always like the the world is so trippy when when we got the multiple like the headsets and mm -hmm. the and the Zoom blend. Yeah, and the crazy part is I I was uh you can actually you know do Zoom and Teams meetings inside the headset too. So I'm like, yeah, this is gonna mess everything up soon. We all gonna be sitting in random spaces just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, can, you can have a full like uh, you can set at an empty desk and if you're connected to just a pc you can have as many monitor you know monitors yeah. floating around you and great yeah. yeah there was actually you joey that actually kind of like broke my mind a little bit the first time when uh the when like one of the first things when barry was getting ready to introduce and, and was was kind of like introduced the concept and jeff sent a little uh one of your tiktoks and it was mm -hmm. just like it was a split screen, which you do in the. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and you can see you can see like the shoe developing. Yeah. On the side, man. Ah, all right. Well, all right. That's about to be all of us, I guess. Um, I don't know if you got any specific words, Jeff. We got we're going to. But I, I'll just uh, since my mic is on, I'll say um, uh, we're getting ambitious right now. This is the first stab at something this interactive in VR. So uh, buckle up, um, maybe bear with us. <laughs> Let's try to, we're gonna try to work out a scenario where potentially everybody could be working at the same time and we have a unified event. So um, yeah, thank you for all, for, for entering into this, this new uh, enterprise of space and time in the virtual world with us. Boom, all right, Joey, you're up, man. I, cool. I'd just like to say one thing too, like I appreciate everybody's logging in and your consistency with um you know tapping in with joey this is our first time doing this sort of thing that he's been doing so i just appreciate everyone i know everyone's been going to continue it and shout out to you joey for, for just um showing up and being flexible and hella creative you know what i'm saying inspiring mm -hmm. awesome man yeah i appreciate everyone's uh help on this too making it making it making it fun um, cool. So I'll, I'll go ahead and get started and show y'all how to just set up. Um, so I guess the, the goal here is like to have everyone working in their own, like in, in, when we've been doing this previously, I've been in my collab room and, and, uh, casting it so you guys can watch it, but, um, we're going to have everyone set up their own collab room just so they can work in their own space. Normally you wouldn't have to set up a collab room unless you're working with people. You can just do, a, you know, start a new file, but we're going to have you set up a collab room so you know how to do that. And then also, so I will have, I will be able to pop in and help kind of basically everyone's in their own corner working and I'll be able to walk around and pop into each other's rooms and help you either set up or get you going wherever you're at in this, the process. So I'm going to share my screen. And if everyone has, um, you know, their sketch, they're ready to, to model it. Um, and a gravity sketch account, then we should be good to go. So the first thing is if you guys all wanna, if you're all with your gravity sketch account and you're on your gravity sketch, like landing pad, if you could get logged in there, I can um, show you guys how to create your own collab room and give me access. Um, 
and feel free to if i'm going too fast or whatever at all if you need me to stop or reverse a step just let me know um just because i can't i can only see some of you guys on the when i share my screen um so when you're at your landing pad page you'll just have like all your you know your files and different rooms here you'll see it's like labeled like with jpeg or gravity sketch file stl and then there's some that's called the collab room um so i have this here because it's my my room that i already have set up if you want to go over to this plus symbol on the right um there's a play a option where you can create new collab room and because i already have a collab room set up i can't make this new one so i don't know the exact steps that'll follow it um but it, I, i'm assuming it should be pretty pretty simple if there's just ask questions if once you get to the next step of that set up new collab room. Um, and then if you, um, if you're at a spot where you can give access, just type in my, here, I'll put my email in the chat. Um, how can I get to that? I'll put my email in the chat and you'll just have to give me, add my email to give access and then I'll be able to hop into your collab room. So I guess, um, I'll give you a second to make sure that's set up. And then if I move on and you're not ready, just unmute and let me know. Um, but once you, I guess once you add, set up your collab room, if you add me, I should be able to start seeing access to that. Yep, it looks like I already got Brittany using Cassandra. Okay, cool, nice. Um, let me share my screen again so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Nice. So now you can see, like, now I have access to all these people's rooms. Some of these were set up from before. Um, nice, Alana. Just got yours. Remote's not working. There we go. Cool. Do you know how many, how many I should expect so I can know when we're – Good to go. How many rooms are being set up now? Is is does anybody know that they're they're just going to be watching from Zoom? Uh, yeah, Adrian, is that was that a nod? Okay. Um, let's see. So probably just be watching. Kelsey got you. Macy, are you you're making a room, Macy? Okay, cool. And then Lalo, are you um are you making a room or are you watching? Watching. Okay. All right. So that's one, two, three. Make a room shortly. Okay. All right. So looks like I have access. To one, two, three, four. Five. I've gotten five so far. Yeah, I just made one just in case we uh, somebody yeah. changed mine and just wants to hop into one. That's per perfect. Yeah. That's cool. And then if you guys have, um, if you guys have your sketches too, um, if if you, I know we mentioned like for like a like a homework thing to just sketch an idea of a slide out. Um, like I have here, if you can see on my screen, I got uh, the sketch that I had sent you guys as an example. It's just a JPEG file, and I literally just dragged it into my landing pad. It popped up here, and that'll that's what will give you access to. You'll have access to it once you're in the Gravity Sketch on the headset. So if you haven't done that yet, um, that would probably be the next step. And we're going to you know try to keep this as simple as possible, just you know the side view sketch of the shoe. And then I'll show you how to get started. And once we get going, you'll be able to start creating and, and have more flexibility, but just working working through this uh, beginning phase here of just setting everyone up. Uh, Cassandra said her VR is updating after she created the room. Alana said I didn't get access yeah. to it. And Brittany same. Access to what? 
Oh, sorry, I didn't see the chat, my bad. Uh, oh, the slide JPEG. Uh, that's in the e that's in the email we sent. sent out. Oh, here, let me let me. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. You, so you can either use your if you sketch something on your own that was your your own idea, you can use that. Uh, if not, we can you can just use mine as an example. That'd be that'd be perfect. Um, it's not really doesn't really matter. It's just a matter of if you wanted to make your own your own thing. Um, let's see. Um, Matt, did you have that email where I sent that sketch? I can yeah. send it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do that oh, while, you're, cool. while you're setting up. Um, yeah, should I, that's, if folks want, I guess everybody's on the computer at this point. I'll, I'll just, I'll send that email with the attachments. Um, I'll just, uh, send that to the group right now. <clears throat> um, well, maybe I can, because some people have their rooms set up already. I can start popping in and getting them started. And as people get there, I know some people are, you know, some updating or whatever. I can always come back. I'll try to hit everyone. If you guys, if I'm missing you all, I'll just keep going down the line of rooms I have access to. But if you, yeah, I guess just, I'll, I'll try to keep an eye on the chat more, or even just if you unmute yourself and say something, I'll, I'll uh, or Matt, Matt and Jeff, if you guys call out people that need any help. Well, yeah. during it, um, because I'm gonna be kind of in a in a zone when I'm with certain people. So I'm gonna yeah. share my screen just so you guys. There's my messy messy desktop. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, uh, Joey, is it PC and Jordan? Is that the one? Is that the the zip that I'm looking for? Um, no, it would probably be called the last, the last one. Okay, okay, gotcha. I, I don't know where. Live sketch. Yeah, slide, yeah, slide sketch idea. example. Yeah. And if you don't have it, I can pop into everyone's room and drag it in myself because I have the file access on my own thing. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's easy. But I will go ahead and, and resend this real quick too. Okay, cool. So yeah, my screen's just gonna be streaming whoever's room I'm in. Um, but so you'll be able to if you're not in VR, you'll be able to just watch that as I pop around different rooms. Um, the first room I have access to is um looks like cassandra so i'll just hop in hers and then if that's cool we can get we can get going and then let's see all right looks like i'm in the room i don't know is Cassandra in the room, in her own lab room? Uh, Cassandra was the one that said that her headset was updating. Oh, I... that's my bad. Here, I'll do a different one until then. That's all good. Um, here, we'll do the launch. All right, let's see you. Oh, nice. You already started modeling a heel. And then... Alana, we should be able to talk to each other. If you, on your left controller, there's like a little microphone button. If you tap, touch it, it should unmute it. And then there should be a volume on your headset so you can hear. Or maybe you're already unmuted. Yeah, I can hear you now. So, okay, hold on. So I guess, Matt, that's the thing. Do you want me to mute myself? Because I'm, or do you want to be able to hear? Because you'll only be able to hear my side of the conversation with Alana is, is, the, is the thing. Um, so we can just do a silent, I can just silent cast for the Zoom and while I have this conversation since everyone's going to be in their own rooms anyway. Okay, so are you saying you mute you mute yourself and then uh, you, you're casting the audio from your conversation with Alana? Or yeah. yeah. At any point time? Okay. Yeah, and then I'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. Jeff and I will be in here. And yeah, that's yeah. a good Joey is in your room. Make sure you'll everyone make sure you're muted. Hold up, I'm getting maybe I need to mute too while you do it. I can't. Sorry, guys. Um oh, that's why I'm sharing. Okay, I'm gonna mute.
and that um that JPEG is is resent to email. By the way, if anyone needs it. So Joey, FYI, while you're in there, just in case, uh, we're we're not getting uh, audio from it. If you are trying to send audio out from the Zoom from the cast, no. Did you just I'm. Man, not to hearken back to to Zoom one on ones. <laughs> did you uh, did did you did check the share uh, computer sound box when you hit the screen share? Joe, can you hear me on the VR? Oh, that that little echo. Maybe Alana's voice is going to do both. Um, here, let me see. Can I go share screen and then? You, you, you do, the, you know, the little check box at the bottom. I think it's like share system audio or something like that. Yeah, so you stare it or mono stare it. Yeah, stare you. <laughs> Is this... Here, let's see if this works. Okay. And did you hear, by the way, Joey, Alana came on uh, on the Zoom, was asking if you hear her in, um, in inside of Gravity Sketch? I can hear her there, yes. Cool. Um, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me on the Zoom now? Yep, I hear your voice on the Zoom. Yes. Right. So the only thing is, yeah, so the only thing is, you can hear me there, and then it's echoing for me because I hear my. Oh, here. But then I can't hear you. Is the problem? Um. So Joey, okay, hold on. Should I be listening to you on the Zoom or on VR? Just go. Just listen to me on Zoom. Listen to me on Zoom. That'll be easier. And then I think you can mute your Zoom mic now, Joey. Uh, we we hear uh, we're I think uh, we're catching your audio from Gravity Sketch. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Zoom. The Zoom. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. All right. All right. But I think Sorry, the, Joey. Your your mic is actually still on from the Zoom mic, so I think you're still getting the echo. <laughs> How do I mute my? How do I mute my? There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Um, cool. um, okay. And then Alana, you can hear me, right? I can't, I can't hear you on VR, but I can hear you on Zoom. And I oh. think that's where the echo is coming from. Oh, so you have an echo. Say something, Joey. Can you hear me now? Um... No, I hear you very lightly. I hear myself more. Um, sorry, guys. I don't know. This is like three different audio things. I have to. I should just be hearing you on Zoom, though, right? I think so. So I think if you, you can just turn the volume down on your headset all the way, and then you won't hear me on there. I don't or hear I, you on my headset at all. I just hear you on Zoom. Oh, here, let me. Um, and just so you guys know, the echo is fine on the Zoom. The audio in the Zoom room is, is great from our side. Okay. So that's fine. I'll just I'll turn my volume off on the VR. On the VR. Or no, because that's where you. Or no, because that's where you. 
I'm confused. Keep my volume on on VR, but yeah. myself through yeah. Zoom. I can just hear you through Zoom. And um, sorry guys, I. It's like if I could, if I mute myself I on my headset, then it doesn't stream. So we got to. Here, how about I just yeah, mute is, my. Yeah, this is fine. Mute my stream, and then I'm gonna turn my audio back on on the Zoom, so you can only hear me on Zoom. And then Alana, if you, I can hear you on Zoom too, and just mute yourself in the VR. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, you can hear you on Zoom. All right. So I tried to make a deal. It was boneless. <laughs> That's the best word I can give it. It's boneless. So you're trying to make a, make a deal? Yeah. Cool. Did you have a, um, a sketch or anything, or were you kind of just free handing it, designing it? Um, I was... I was just going off of a shoe that I had in mind, not really. Like, I took just my idea of the shoe, like, heels I already have, mm -hmm. uh, and then kind of just put that, um, just put it on here. I didn't even sketch or anything. Gotcha. Cool. All right. So, um... It looks like you have like the wireframe mostly drawn out. Was there anything else on the wireframe you wanted to um, um, do, or do you were you ready to model it? I think we should be ready to model it. I just didn't know how to do that with um how to model it with because like with the sneaker we had the different like levels and the shoe is really like it's less to it. Like, like a, a heel is less to it. So I didn't know how to do like, you know how we like covered from like end to end, there isn't a really other end that's mm -hmm. thick enough apart. Oh, no, not that. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, so like we can, um, yeah, so we can just model this like, if, if we can model this all as one piece or we can model as like, you know, the, just the footbed part and then the uh and the heel as one piece and then these strap pieces can be modeled separately if that's how you envisioned it. Um, yeah. Um and then another thing I will say is the mirroring to this side. The what? Like mirroring the inner side. I couldn't oh, get yeah. like, like to, to take, take the mirroring off and does that like fix the inner side of the shoe? Yeah. Okay. So if you just select, like when you're going to go to edit, you know, you select it and go mm -hmm. into edit mode on the wireframe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then once you have that selected, you'll go to your, um, you know, I'll do something as an example. So you wouldn't, so let's say it's mirrored, right? Like this. Mm -hmm. Once you're in edit mode, right? Then you hit on your menu this. This thing is just baked mirrored. And then now there are two separate pieces you can edit individually. If that makes sense. Okay. Let's see that. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Going so click it. And do that. Yeah. Okay. And then take the mirror off. Yeah. And then hit bake mirrored. And now you should be able to edit them separately. Okay. And then you can make it, you know, asymmetrical. There you go. Okay. That's so what I was control, Yeah, control points on both sides. So maybe, just so I can have time to make sure you get around to other rooms, if you want to work on, you know, making everything, you know, asymmetrical like, as you want it, once you the wire, get the wireframe where you want it, and then you can start um, modeling, and I can come back for that if that works. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that works. works. I, yeah, this is this is good now. Okay. But yeah, you can go off to the other rooms because I'll have to reconnect the wires on the side. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay. Now. Um. Okay. Let's see who. So is there another good one I should go to that's ready? Maybe you. Let's see who's next on the thing. 
Um, I can hop in uh, Maisie's if that's ready. I can hop in. And then if Maisie wants to unmute on the Zoom so I can hear her, I think that'd be good. Sure. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm in your room now. So okay. Cool. Awesome. I cool. don't remember how to move things that I've drawn, like like a mess with them. You want to like edit something? Yeah. Okay. So, um, so when you hover over something, like with this little orb, it'll you know highlight in red, and that's how you like select something, or that gives you the option to you know edit. It. So. When you're hovering over it like I am now, mm -hmm. then you click on the to grab something is that like middle finger trigger on your right hand. And then when you when you grab it, it lets you like move it right, but obviously you don't want to move it. So then you'll go to your left hand and that's where more options. So like while I'm grabbing it with my right hand, I have this option to do the edit on my left hand, this blue button. And so now I have access to these points and I can edit like that. So did that did that make sense with the um how to grab it? Um, um I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, uh -huh. you're in a different tool. If you can exit out of whatever you're in, usually like the uh, let me see. Actually go. So yeah, on your right, on your right hand, that tool, that like hammer button. Yeah. If you hold that down and then make, go until you get to sketch. And so be on the sketch tool. It's like a little pencil. Mm -hmm. So once you have that, so like, then you should be good. So then use your, that little orb in your right hand, the little like, it's a cube on yours. Hover that mm -hmm. over the piece until it gets like selected. Oh, I see. Yeah. So then while you're hovering over it with your right hand, uh, hold the middle, yeah, middle finger. But then while you're holding that middle finger trigger, look at your left hand and hit the blue button. Gotcha. And then now you have those control points. So now that's how you edit edit things. And yeah, you can add those points or delete points. And then just remember the undo button is the red button on your right hand if you want to just undo something. Cool. Okay, well, I actually deleted things. <laughs> earlier but it's okay um okay cool did you have a sketch that you were going off of or you were kind of just you know just coming up with whatever was in your mind when you're working on this one so I did but I didn't have time to import it and it was on my personal email ended up it was like a thing but I mean I can jump in and import it it just uh gotcha well I think it's fine if you I mean if you have the idea in your head you can work like that but just for the sake of everyone watching I'll show them how like once you do have your sketch how you can import that so you'll click on the blue button menu here and you'll go to this little folder that says import Mm -hmm. And then you can either go, you know, go to your workspace, which is where everything you drag on your landing pad will end up at. Mm -hmm. And so like, like you can see the sketch here. All you have to do is just literally just grab it with your hand and place it in the room. And then you can, you know, make it bigger or smaller. So that's all you have to do when, when you bring in a sketch. Um, cool. if that's something you can do later. And it's for everyone else that's listening in and watching again. That's how you do that. Cool. Um, and then how do I do the mirror? again yeah so the thing is um so you built it already or like the way you're sketching it is already like asymmetrical which is really good um okay. uh, so it's, you don't need to do that in this case but i'll show you how you can mirror um so it's the same thing you go when everything you're gonna do when you want to change a part you do that um uh, that same way that you went to edit so you know you grab it with your right hand and then hit the blue button for edit and so now you have those control points, right? So you're in edit mode when you can see these control points. Mm -hmm. And then when you do that, on the you'll get a new menu option on your left hand, the purple button. And then that'll give you more edit options. And on one of them at the bottom is mirrored. So like mm -hmm. you can see when I switch it on to mirrored, it, it reflects it across. Um, but we don't want to do that on this piece. But that's just how you that's how you would do that. 
And then in the opposite case, let's say it was already mirrored. If you wanted to unmirror it so you could edit both sides separately, you would hit on this one at this bottom, this button at the top corner of this menu. It's it'll be called bake mirrored. It's kind of two squiggly lines between or on the other side of another squiggly line. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, once you can and also sometimes I work with um this is something you'll get used to too, but like I like to have like some of these lines be a little thinner so I have it's less um I just get a little bit more, more control over it. Yeah. So one of the things you can do is when you're in that edit mode, you can actually hover over the individual little points and then using the side to side joystick, you can make it smaller or thicker like that. Um oh. or you can also go to the hit the menu and use this little toggle to make it the whole thing smaller or thinner. So that's something you can always go back and edit if you want to. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but it, either way, you know, it's just it's just guidelines at this point, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but then, yeah, so once you have these guidelines, then you can start um, modeling the surfaces of what that would look like. Oh, I see. Got you. And then FYI, Joey, um, yeah. I know you already had popped into Alana's, but you got an SOS call coming out, coming out from her on the chat. Gotcha. Let me let me read the chat real quick. And yeah, um, let's see. Yeah, sorry, it's hard to keep up with the chat when I'm on. Yeah, you know, I got you. She, she just said I, that that she's that yeah something's something's going haywire with her okay. sketch. Send help. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, I'll pop. I'll pop in there just for a second, and then I, and then um, I'll probably try to hop in someone else's. But maybe I think you kind of you got the editing figured out. So now you'll be able to kind of get a, a better idea of your design and be able to like, tweak these lines that you already have. Um, yeah. Cool. But, Thank you. Uh, yeah, no problem. Oops. So Alana, coming back to you real quick, and then I'm going to hop into someone else's. All right. Is Alana, Alana, you? Can you okay, can you hear me? Cool, so okay. what happened? <laughs> okay, so I think I may have figured it out, I'm not sure. But so with the, um, I had, these became like straight lines like this one. So that one, it was like curved and stuff at first, and it's not curved. I think I was trying to hit the pinpoints and hit something else wrong. I think I was hitting simplify points, but that's, I don't think that's what I wanted. But, oh, gotcha. Well, well, now that you have it selected, if you hit the undo button, can you undo what you did? Will that work? Yeah, I think that's what it did, but yeah, I think I, I, think I got it. This is hard. Yes. This is challenging. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough to get used to. And I know these are just like the basic fundamental so it's like it's like once you get past the step of like learning just these little things it'll that's you know it's really all the main things that i use anyway so it's it's, yeah. it's it seems like it seems tough but it's not like there's a million other tools you need to learn this is kind of you know for the most part all you. you have to figure out um, yeah i think i got it i just was very confused on why it made everything straight lines but i think it's because of the um amplify yeah, I was hitting simplified points instead of gotcha. trying to get on there, which I still don't know how I did, but I did, so. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, thank awesome. you. Yep, yeah, cool. All right, who's... Is there anyone in particular I should hop into, or should I just pick a random one and go? I think Quan had some, uh, some stuff going on. All right, cool. I'll have in Quan's room, and then if Quan, if you, if Quan can unmute himself, so I can hear him on Zoom, that'd be cool. All right, nice. All right, can you, I can't hear Quan on the the Zoom. Quan, you gotta unmute your uh, Zoom. Okay. All right. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. Say less, say less. All right. So, so where, where are you at on here? You got you got your slide, you got the footbed, you work on the strap. Yeah. So let me uh put that layer back on. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out um if they're like just like messing around with the tools and figuring out like is there a way to to kind of shave off like say let, let's say I make a a, a box right can I like sh then shave that box and then make it into like a, a trapezoid or something like does that have those kind of tools or do you have to like go in with the mindset of I'm gonna build a trapezoid um so I think there's some tools that are already pre-built geometries but there's not like because if you're thinking of like other types of like 3d software where you can do like um like you can use use one surface to like trim another surface or make a cut right. of another surface it doesn't do that the, the thing is so gravity sketch has tried to make stuff like that but it, apparently the computer processing of it is not it's too much for like the headsets to even do so they don't have that as an option but gotcha. um so you kind of have to like either you know if you wanted to build out a detail like that you could export this model into another software and do that do cut that. later um gotcha. which is usually how i work for that type of thing but there i mean just to show you on here um there are some like you know pre-made geometry shapes there's not much <laughs> but there's stuff here in this um Let's see, in the, it's in the tools and these, it's just in the shapes tab. Um, mm -hmm. There's just different like pre-built geometries that you can, like if you wanted to put a bunch of like, I don't know, like spikes or something on this the this slide or whatever, you can yeah. build all these things here and like place them all where you want it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they're not merged right now, but you could export this all together and then merge those together or use those spikes to cut out a whole in the side of it in you know rhino or blender or whatever gotcha yeah because i was thinking about trying to see if there was a way to like um like filling gaps because I'm, I'm thinking of like a, a foamy like really foamy like conforms to your foot type of shoe for the uh for the sole um but then the difficult part is you can't really create that um unless you actually have like the the imprint of the foot the bottom of the foot does that make sense yeah like you want it to be like the actual like the little like even like where like a little indents where the heel and then the toes and yeah exactly kind of stuff. yeah yeah so yeah i mean you could the you can kind you could do that but that's a little bit like that's it, it take a while to you know it's take a lot of time to get that real detail and model things right. properly but i can show you how you would go about that like let's let's just try to do like the like the if you wanted like little indents for where like the toes are for example mm -hmm. um, like you would you know start modeling with this like surface right mm -hmm. and then you could even just uh, literally, like you know make model this like get this the size of the footbed and then mm -hmm. you can start breaking it into like little sections. All I'm doing is clicking with my pointer finger to mm -hmm. add a new like row of control gotcha. points. So you can start adding all these like control points and then you can, you know, build it to the actual footbed shape. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is something, again, if you wanted to get like really like anatomical correct, you could spend a little bit more time doing that. But then you could do things like, um, so what I'm going to do is like, you know how you want to, if you want to copy and paste something, you grab it with your pointer or middle finger. Yep. Finger, and then you copy with your pointer finger. So you grab it and then make a copy, right? Right. Do that so I don't mess it up. So you can do that same thing on surfaces. So you can cop, basically it's like copy and pasting this surface, but it mm -hmm. keeps it all as part of the surface. So I can, you know, hit middle finger and then pointer finger. And now I have like, you know, I can build out this Ooh. surface like this, right? So you can do stuff like that. And again, this is where you would have to like spend time and really build out the shape of the toes. But for like for this example, let's pretend these are where like the toes are going to be. You could, mm -hmm. um, you know, do that copy and paste and just lower it. Right. And, that, and make these little little indents like that. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you could do it again here. Like that. And just have these like little indents and you can make them like, you know, less deep, a little bit more shallow. And then you could, mm -hmm. you know, come in and add more points and make them more, you know, whatever shape you wanted to. 
So I think yeah. that's how I would go about doing something like that. It's a little bit, it's going to be, a, you know, that's a pain in the ass. No, you're right. I got it. Yeah. I wouldn't <laughs> have even tried that this early in learning it, but it's, it's, it's a cool idea for sure. And also I can, yeah. you can delete this piece if you want, if it's in the way, I just. Oh, no, you're like good. How, how'd I go about smoothing this little section here? Yeah, let's check it out. So is this um a surface or is this, oh, is this a, like a, a wireframe? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, so usually I use that, this tool to like, just build out like guidelines, like of what the thing is. So, mm -hmm. so the way you could model this like better, so it like, it, it's, it's smoother and close. Cause I don't think you can like merge these, like what you would, would yeah. want to do is merge these points and have them match up with each other. I think the one way you could do it with this tool is if you mirrored it and if you have them, you know, this would have to, I'm going to, I'm going to put it back to where you had it. Yeah. You would have to have, you could do this, but then have it snap here at the mirrored point. So it makes a continuous yeah. clean line. Gotcha. Um, and I can show you like, um, like for example, if we're, um, you know, if we're doing it like this or whatever, and like that's the shape. You can mm -hmm. set it to mirrored. So now it's mirrored. And then, um, you know, this because this is a way, this is a good way, actually, if you want this, this like tube, tubular like shape around it, this is actually mm -hmm. a good way to model it. So you can see as I model this here on the mirrored, it'll merge it. So now you have this really clean finish. Yeah. And now you don't have those weird gaps like in the middle of it. So that's actually an interesting way to model something that's like tubular. You don't mm -hmm. have to, you know, build this tube by hand with planes and stuff. Um, right. I would just build it mirrored. And then, you know, obviously you want the more anatomical shape. So then you mm -hmm. can go back and bake mirrored and then you can edit it. So it's more, you know, natural foot shaped or whatever. Right. So, yeah. Appreciate so maybe either, you can either start from scratch and rebuild that piece. Like, and mirror mm -hmm. it or you can maybe go back and just delete like one side of it and rebuild it yeah. mirrored and, and then do that okay but, yeah so that's i think how i'd fix that problem appreciate you cool yeah, all right you. well i might try to hop in unless there's something else i might try to hop in someone else's i can always come back if i got a second though nah go for it appreciate you thank you cool awesome. hey joey yes Hey, Joey, it's Kate. Um, my keyboard is not letting me type in the chat. I was just wondering, how do you delete layers? Because I have, yeah, I have a bunch of layers, but um, and I keep like you know unlocking and locking, but it 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 won't let me. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, yeah, okay. So I room. created I created one, but then I had to put it into the landing into the collab room. So then all my layers are me messed up and now they are instead, <laughs> look, see, I have shoes floating everywhere Yeah. I because that. I keep having to import because oh, I gotcha. couldn't add you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's like that one down there. So you can, some... so like if you wanna just like these little one that's like floating out here, right? If you wanna just delete yeah. all this. You can just go in and see what the your little selection tool on your hand is like orb shape. Yeah. You just go in and, for some reason it's not letting me grab. Maybe it's a locked layer or something. Oh, right. Maybe. It's a locked layer and oh, okay. Yeah. There were like see, I have like nine, you know, a million layers. Okay. And I was... so they're they're all set to lock. So there's like a little lock mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. Um, yeah. So you can just yeah. go in and click and unlock them. Right, right, um, right. But how do you delete those? Yeah, so the reason it's not letting you delete is because they're locked. And so I'll show you. So like, is there is it cool if I delete any of these layers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, okay. go ahead. So you can just, you what you can do is either, you know, grab everything here and delete totally. those. Totally, yes. That'll delete just the objects. But if you want to delete the right. whole layer, you can just yes. grab, it, grab it like you would any other piece. Okay. And hit the red button on your right hand. Oh, okay, then, okay, okay. Because that's what I, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can grab like multiple layers at a time with a bigger, you just okay. adjust this so, stick. Okay. Stick. Okay. That's what I was looking for because in my other, in my, where I designed it further, because this is not the 
the one that I was working on, I okay. have it in better layers. Like each thing is a layer. Um, mm -hmm. And, but now the whole shoe is one layer and that's not what I wanted. So I might have to go back and gotcha. maybe re redo it. But yeah, <laughs> I was playing around with it. I really, I was getting uh, really acclimated with the, the controls and I was, mm -hmm. I was getting really into it. And so Awesome. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. It might not look like it, but I did. I was. Oh, I, was yeah. uh, I got. I maybe I'll show you guys the first stuff I ever did because it was. Mm, it was not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was weird. Just weird doodle stuff. So this is no. This okay. is good. I, you're finding your. I see you're like finding the shape of the shoe too, and you're, yeah, you're, you're mapping out all these parts and how they align with the last. So that's that's, yes. that's exactly what. And that's like what like the stuff I've been doing is like probably almost five years now so it it there's a reason that it takes a long time to, it takes a long time to be like super detailed about that stuff but this okay. is like a really great start honestly okay so, awesome awesome um so i know we have we're like it's like 145 and oh yeah time. yeah go ahead go to another go to another i'm gonna see if i can pop into a couple more um okay. i'm fine that i can hang out a little bit late too for anyone else that can if we need to um is there anyone else I can hop in? Let's see who else I haven't done okay. yet. I just want to say in mid process here, I think this is really cool to see um, you do this because it's like each person has a different issue that folks may be running into after these, uh, <laughs> after the session. So mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of cool to kind of see, um, oh, okay, this is how you take care of the layers. Okay, over here, this is how you do the handling, the mirroring and stuff. And, um, or then, or with the, the cool trick you just showed us with Quan's shoe about indenting um, a shape. Yeah. So I just wanted to say that. Awesome, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's really, it's it's good. I feel like we're covering covering a lot, just like across the board. And I know everyone can't see everyone's because they're working too, but it'll be good to watch later in the, the edit, the video. Um, who else haven't I done yet? There's... Um, Brittany, I'll, Brittany. I'll hop in Brittany's real quick, yeah. and then I can maybe start looping back to other people if if we got a minute. All oh. right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice. Cool. Where are you, where are you at? Building the wireframe. Um. Yeah. I think the only thing like I. I don't really understand how to do as the surfaces, but I okay. also don't know if this shoe would be even comfortable. Gotcha. Well, or something. Um. Yeah. I mean, so I. I mean, I can give you some. I can definitely show you how to model, but like just for like I guess insight on like shoes and stuff like that. The comfort would that would all kind of come into you know, depending on what all these parts are made of, like the sole and all that. Like if this all this light blue stuff. If that's like, you know, a foam sole, that's great. I don't see any issues of like comfort there. The only things you ever really need to worry about is like in this area, because this is where your ankle sits, right? And when you have something coming up higher on the foot, this has a potential for your ankle bone, like where your ankle bone sticks out. It can have the potential to like bump into this and cause like, you know, irritation. I don't think yours is in that. Yours is in a fine position for that. Um, I guess what material did you envision this like strap part of the shoe to be? I don't know because I hate slides. So <laughs> okay, <laughs> Probably, like rubber or some shit like that. Gotcha. Like, conditioning, you know those stupid uh like fish sandals. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that, that's how. That's like. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I think I think it'd be you know, comfort wise, it'd be fine. The only thing is, like, I guess you know, let's say it, it was like um you know a rubber strap or foam wrap or something like that i would just you know it, we don't have to worry about it now but some things like maybe like these edges are a little bit smoother or something and like you would have to figure out how like what's giving this like this uh, structure is this just like a floating piece here or is this where it would like be like a you know a sandal or or like where it has like the little between the toe slot type of thing um but yeah i mean i, I don't think there'd be any like major like comfort issues but i can show you how to model some stuff if there's a specific thing you wanted me to show you 
just like the surfaces because I was trying to do that yesterday um but I couldn't figure out how to like get it to actually work gotcha okay so if you can I think you you should be able to see my controls when I do this yeah. um so if we go to this little paintbrush tool on my left hand that's where I have like that's where all the tools exist basically um like right now you're using the the stroke tool for all these wireframe so then if you go to the shapes and you click on plane that uh, shapes right above the text yeah so then you go to plane and that's like kind of how you start modeling something so then you you just use your right trigger to start drawing something as you would anything else and so now you have just one plane and you can grab it and move it to wherever you need to um and by the way when i'm like scaling it up and down like this that's just me doing both um, middle finger triggers so I can like make it scale it up bigger or smaller. Um, but let's, you know, let's just model this like side panel piece just to, as an example. So when you select it and you go into edit mode, which is the blue button on the left hand, then you have these control points now, right? Um, but we want it to be smoother and more organic shapes. So how it's like actually going to look out so we can switch the subdivision level to higher. So it's basically what it's doing is subdividing the surface. Right now it's like low subdivision. So it's a very geometric version of what, you know, the shape is, but the higher that you subdivide it, the smoother the surfaces are. So that's where you have that. And then from here, everything else is just building off of this. Um, again, with that like copy and paste, when I'm grabbing the surface, this edge, I'm copying and pasting it. So I'm grabbing it and then hitting my pointer finger trigger to paste the new surface and like that. And then you can go in and grab these little points the same exact way you would edit the wireframes and just move these points to where you want it. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of it. And then it's just a matter of, um, you know, if you wanted to start building the top of this, you can start adding more control points so you can model how this like curves over the edge, um, all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, there's like a little protrusion part here where there's an edge. I mean, you can, you know, do it however you want, but that's just kind of how you, does that make sense? To, does that, those controls make sense to you? I can walk you through it too. No, it makes more sense now. I just wasn't sure what tool. So I kept putting squares in there and I was like, what the? Gotcha. Hell? Yeah, you can, I mean, you can use start with the plane tool. Like I just showed you, you can also, I mean, for this example, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can start with like a cube and do the same thing and you can subdivide it. And then you can start, you know, editing things and making copies and like building. I mean, you can do it however you want, but for this example, for when I do shoes, especially this type of, Thing, I use that plane tool to start building those surfaces. And Joey, you could mirror it if you wanted to. What you just did with that orange um, plane, you could have mirrored it and it started yeah. doing it to the other side, right? Yeah. So, like, yeah, let's say I had this built already. And I, you know, just for the sake of just so you, it has the same design on the other side, obviously we'll unmirror it and make it the, um, proper let's say you know that was what we had you can set it to mirror and now it's on the other side and then you can let's say it's done you have it exactly where you wanted it then you can hit the bake mirrored which unmirrors it and now you have control over both those sides individually and now i can make this you know align better with the side or however you know yeah. however you want it um, make it fit naturally. So you can delete those parts if you want. I just, as an example, um, but yeah, that's how you would do that if, to mirror things. Sick. That's all I need to help with. Cool. Awesome. Let's see. If I can, is there anyone, I think I've been in most people's rooms. Is there anyone I, I've missed that once or has a question or anything? We still got a few minutes, five minutes at least. I was just gonna see if we could come back to mine because I don't know how to um put the surface on it. Okay, I'll come back. Okay. Oh, 
I think I'm in your slide room. Are you in there? I think so. It says we gave by. Okay, there we go. Oh, where's the shoe? Oh, I'm at 300%. Okay. I changed the color so it was easier to see. Did I just turn my, I just turned it off. Okay, I think this is not meant for me to do it. Because I just accidentally turned it off. Um, turned what off? The VR. <laughs> trying to fix it on oh, my oh, head. Oh, oh gotcha. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to see. Okay, I'm back. Okay. So you're trying to model the surfaces now? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I think you, you should be able to see my controls, I think. So, like, what I was yes. just showing in the last one. Okay. And if you go, um, you know, the paintbrush tool box, that's where all your tools are, basically. And then uh -huh. if you go to shape. Okay. And then go to plane. Okay. And that's the tool that I use to surface. So then when you start drawing, you have just a plane, a singular plane like this. And so with the copy and paste... You you use what again? Yeah, so like let's say like just how you copy and paste anything, right? It's just uh -huh. um, you just you know you just hover over the piece and then hit the middle finger trigger and then the pointer finger and then you can just keep making copies like that. Oh, so to copy and paste it how you did with the sneaker last week. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Because it's not. I have to sneeze. I apologize in advance. Okay. So last week you kind of had the, oh, wait. Why is mine so much bigger than yours? Is it uh, because it, I'm... It doesn't matter. That's just how it starts. Like you, you can make it. So if you want to make it start off with a smaller piece, you can just grab it with your the middle finger trigger and then hold the left middle finger trigger and you can just scale it up. Yeah, and um, but, but yeah, so what, what you're trying to do is build the surfaces, right? So if you want yeah. to go into to edit mode, you can just grab it and then um, hit the blue button on the left hand, and then you'll have those control points the same exact way you do with the wireframe. Um, oh, here, see on your um, on your this little menu here on that little cube shape, click on that yeah. cube shape. So that'll put it in the subdivision mode and that'll give you the control points. Do you see that? Yeah. So there. So now you can move it. Or not. Like, can I still change the size? Yes. Yeah. And you can use, you can also adjust it by pulling those little points on the corners. Got you. Yeah. Hey, so. It, sorry to interrupt you guys. Um, and I, I have a, I, I know I think Jeff has to shift. Uh, I have a yeah. buffer. I have a little buffer, half an hour or so. Even so, but I just wanted to name that okay. where we are at the top of the hour. So for folks that do have to leave, I don't know if you have any any thoughts to deliver, Joey, or or questions or any any last things for people that are on their way out. Give you a chance. Yeah. Um, no, thank you. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, I think just. Uh, you know, if you want to keep like working on a model or even just starting with the wireframe, not even worrying about the model yet. I have just, you know, just keep messing around with those tools. It's really just focus on that one tool and get really good at it. The stroke tool or the ink tool for the wireframe. And then mm -hmm. same thing for the, um, for the surfacing, just go to the shapes and then the plane tool and just mess around with that. It's the same controls of, you know, messing with the control points. Um, and you'll get good, good at making like clean surfaces and all that stuff. And, um, I mean, if you, if you, if this is something you want to like keep working on and try to make something printable, um, I, I'm happy to like, you know, if you want to send a model, you know, in a week or so, or whenever you get something and I can try to, you know, give you tips or I can try to f send you guys some tutorial videos that show you how to do some of this stuff. Cause I know it, there's something we could spend hours on just trying to get something that's, you know, printable. And I can even send you guys a file that's printable if you want to experiment with actually printing something and something to reference. Um, but yeah, uh, that's kind of it. If I can hang for a few more minutes and I can show a lot of this, this model 
uh, surfacing stuff real quick. And then um, if there's even another question or so, I, I'm good to go. But I know if you guys have to go, um, I appreciate uh, all your your time and it was a uh, it was fun thank you okay, okay i'll hop back on i thought we were done oh sorry i'm gonna break thank you guys i had so much fun i really did i, I appreciate this i took it home over the weekend and everything nice okay. awesome all right everyone i gotta i gotta take off but uh good to see you thanks again joy we'll be in touch yep see you jeff all right. thanks so much yeah thank you guys yeah, yeah, this was a great group for folks that are jumping off. Thank you for participating. This is a good creative exchange and everybody brought a little something different to that too. So yeah, I appreciate you all. We'll be we will follow up on email with more stuff and yeah, some of the stuff Joey mentioned. But yeah, yeah, great run and great session, everyone. But again, I'll keep the room open and uh yeah. Joey and Alana could go in and yeah, holler if anybody else has other questions and you want to uh, take Joey up on his offer to hang more. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Let me just show some of the line of things. We can we can go from there if there's more. Okay, time. I'm getting back in right now. Cool. So yeah, oh, my my controller is like floating. Yeah. There we go. Um, my nose ring. This is not nose ring friendly. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm back. All right. So you had that surface right for this bottom part here. Uh huh. And so, so with the copy and paste to like drag it along, it's no, the... so, so this is a good this is a good starting point. So what I was showing you the copy and paste for is because it's the same controls to like copy an edge or a surface. So when you have this, you know, piece selected, I'm gonna make this a different color just so we can see a little better. Okay. I'm just gonna make it just so we can see it different from the last. So right. Um well, first of all, when you have this subdivision, this plane piece, uh -huh. you want to put it into subdivision mode so that it's more, um, you're seeing what it's actually going to look like and it's not all geometric. And uh -huh. then, um, so from there, that same controls of copy and paste is how you can create, like, this is an edge, right? I want to copy this edge and make another another edge to extend this surface. So I mean, you know, middle finger and then pointer finger, and now I have this other edge, and I can just keep doing that, and keep doing that, and uh, then yeah. I now I have these more control points, and then you can, you know, like see how I'm like I can grab by the surface, or I can grab by the point, or I can grab by multiple points. Just it all just depends on how big your little this like orb is that you control with. Mm -hmm. um, but you can see now you're starting to get more control over this and you can move these points to fit along this line that you designed. Um, gotcha. Yeah, so that's kind of that and you can work with that. And again, like if you, you know, let's say you need more control over this area, it's too flat. You can just click, um, add the, the, there's a little X circle on the tip of your controller and you can mm -hmm. just click, it'll add another edge loop right here. And you can gotcha. do that long ways too. I can add a, like when I did it here, it added an edge loop this way. If I do it this way, it'll add a, a whole loop down the middle. And so now I even have more control over this shape as well. Um, gotcha. So yeah, that's kind of just like a good starting point of where you can work with. And then- So you can... when you, so say when you go in with like the actual hill, I wouldn't need to add anything on that, would I? For the, not to model the actual heel. Yeah. Yeah, so you could do it like this. You can add some control points, right? Uh -huh. um, let me, well, let me let me do it how I would do it. It might be a little um, complex, but we'll we'll see. Um, so, like, I guess I would just kind of, you know, I would follow these shapes that you have, and I would just start modeling how you have it here. Got you. And like you know, start building it around. And obviously, I'm doing this like messy. And you could do this on mirror mode, like have it mirrored, and it'd be a little bit cleaner, uh -huh. be symmetrical, if you want it to be. But you can start seeing how now you're getting like some shape to it, and it's all one piece. Mm -hmm. You're just all you're doing. I'm trying to simplify. I know it like might seem or look confusing, but it's the simplified way is like you're just building off of these edge loops or these control points. Yeah. Um, it makes 
you know, trying to keep everything clean of like this, like these square surfaces where they have even control points. So you, cause if you, sometimes you'll get to the point where um, you might accidentally start modeling like this and like this, and then you get these weird surfaces where there's like, like there's still quads, but you're this weird like triangle. Like there's there's no like through line of this control point. So th there's no like just ends here. Um, and which sometimes you can use that to your advantage, but for the most part, you want to keep it as clean as possible. But you could see how how you can just start easily making like a three D shape and and to close this off so it's printable. You know, just doing that and you can obviously edit and yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, you can, it's just, um, again, it's just gonna be a lot of time of experimenting and messing around, but it's basically those same controls of just adding on to those edge loops. Cool. Wow. Thank you, Joey, so much. Yeah, glad I could help. Is it just us three now? Yeah. Cool. yeah. Right. <laughs> no, this, um, this this was, was my first like VR yeah. thing when I started, so I was I was happy I got to do this. I'm excited. This is this awesome. is fun. And I'm glad that I will get a lot of time to experiment before I get kids. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, good looking out, Alana. That's that like the you the what you were doing that Joey res responded to definitely helped helped me understand it a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. All right, see you, Alana. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, man. Yo, good work, brother. <laughs> Yo, that was a um. <laughs> That man, that format, man, like this is a this is a new precedent, man. Like when when it got going, man, I love yeah, I love it. and it did. It genuinely like like the Quans part. I was like boom, 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 boom. That yeah. that it fed straight into my process of learning it too, man. So awesome, yeah, that was that was beautiful, man. Yo, good work through this whole thing. I mean, great, great work, man. This was Thanks, man. yeah, I'm glad I got going because I was like. Man, we can't even figure the sound out. Hopefully, we can get to other rooms <laughs> on the fly. Yeah, yeah, that nah, didn't feel. It felt. It felt smooth enough too, man. Like we get yeah. the like bear with us, but it wasn't even too much to bear with, man. Yeah, that was good. Awesome. Good work on the fly. Awesome. Cool. Cool, man. Well, uh, yeah, we'll check in with you in a minute, and uh, we can send follow up stuff to him and everything like that too. Any um, anything else, man? Like in the meantime, immediate. You guys, you're good. Set up on the pay and everything, right? Yeah, I think I saw it. The yeah, I saw it went. It hasn't gone through, but it got set up in the build.com or whatever. Yeah, so I think we're good. Everything else is good. I don't. I don't think I have any other comments or questions. So, okay, don't man. Yeah, if you think anything or you got anything for us, just holler, man, and, and we'll hit you up soon and double back awesome. on it. But yeah, Sounds great, good. great work, cool. man. Thank you. Cool. I appreciate it. Yeah, All right. like all right, See man. Ya. We'll have you soon. Peace.